This is Code.org, and I have a rising bubble. Rising bubble. This program makes the bubble rise up the water. Can you make it get faster as it rises? Definitely. To do this, use the counter pattern and the sprite's Y velocity to make the bubble move up more quickly. All right, let me reset. So now let's keep in mind with Y, if you look at my mouse or if you look way down here, the Y value right now is 340. Way down here, it's almost 400. And super far down, it is 400 at the edge. And then as I go up, right now my Y value is 288. Here it's 80. Here it's 18. So if I want something to go up, would I add to Y? Or would I subtract? Well, if I need to go up, here's 388Y. Here's 74Y. I would need to subtract if I want to go up. And I'm using the counter pattern on, as they say, velocity. So that Y velocity. Let me grab velocity, update sprite. So I'll put it right here. I'm going to get rid of this space. You don't need to, but I like to. Now we don't have anything named sprite. We have something named bubble, right? We named our variable bubble dot velocity Y. And what do I want to equal to? Well, I want to equal to something that will be negative, right? We got to take away. So I'm going to grab a minus sign. Go back to sprites and do velocity y again because this is the counter pattern and i'm going to do bubble again and how much do we want to take away i don't think they told us but okay so it starts with a velocity of negative 0.5 so it has negative 0.5 to start maybe then i'll just go up by 0.1 i guess we can try or down by 0.1 because we're taking away now keep in mind, the draw loop runs 30 times a second, so that's why this works. Each time we hit, it's line 9 for me, each time we hit this line, the computer will say, oh, okay, bubble dot velocity y has a new value. What is it? Okay, its new value is equal to the old value for velocity y, this guy right here, its old value, at least for when we start, that's negative 0.5. Okay, so negative 0.5 minus 0.1. All right, that's negative 0.6 is the new value. So then it draws the sprite up negative 0.6. Okay, then we hit the bottom, loop back around, we blank out the screen, and it's even faster than we can see, but it all becomes blue again. And then we move it and draw sprites. I want to show you what happens if I get rid of the background thing. You see how it smears? And that's because it goes faster than we can see, but each round we blank out the screen with our blue background, and then now we're back here. Bubble dot velocity y needs a new value. What's that value? It's equal to the old value. Well, we just said the old value, old value was negative 0.6. So the new value would be negative 0.7. And then we draw it up 0, negative 0 0.7. Then we loop back around, blue background, new y value, new y velocity, 0 0.7 minus 0 0.1 is negative 0 0.8. Draw it up negative 0 0.8. And it slowly increases as we loop. Boom. And you can see it start to speed up. I did it pretty slow there. So if you don't believe me, let's do a... No, no, that's way too fast. Negative 0.2 or 0 0.2. Zoom. We're going to make it a rocket bubble. Boom. And each time it loops, it increases. Well, decreases go up. Cool. Onward.